it does vary person to person. The average time frame, the terminology is called pharmacological extinction of the alcohol addiction. So essentially what's uh -huh. happening, let me kind of explain the treatment so people understand what it looks like. Yeah. So someone's drinking and they want to drink less or quit drinking in the future. So following the Sinclair method, naltrexone is taken an hour before drinking. And what it's doing is sitting on opioid receptors in the brain um, and when it sits on those receptors, it blocks them. And otherwise, if they weren't blocked, the reason why alcohol is super addictive or other drugs is because it just floods the brain with all of these feel-good hormones. And the brain remembers that pleasure and the brain learns to like the pleasure and kind of keep seeking it out through alcohol or other substances. So naltrexone kind of interrupts that pleasure loop. So someone does the same behavior, they drink, but it's not as pleasurable. It's not that it's like terrible or it makes you sick or an awful experience. It's more subtle than that. Um, sometimes people don't even notice like that much of a change in the first like few weeks or month, but the medicine is still blocking that reward. So someone repeatedly does the behavior of drinking and they're not getting the same reward. And so what happens is the brain just naturally stops equating alcohol to this huge reward. And when that happens, cravings for alcohol start to fade away because it's not getting that flood of feel-good hormones. Um, if and when people drink, they typically can drink less. They have like an off switch. They become more of a moderate drinker um, or they quit drinking without having to fight cravings. And um, they're able to have alcohol-free days more easily.